how to set up and put your Zerps on your Ledger Nano. We got it right here, fresh out of the box. Gonna set it up for you guys and see what we uh, can do, what we can do, how we can use it. Let's find out, roll the intro. So we have this bad boy here. It's a cold storage wallet by Ledger Nano S. We just did the uh, guy that break apart, checked out the box, looked at all the good stuff. Use the link to get one in the description, 100 bucks, keep your funds safe off the exchange, off your computer. It's a cold storage wallet. It provides cold storage wallet solutions. So basically it keeps the funds away from the access of the internet. People have said, well, what if I use, what if I lose this thing? Am I screwed? Actually, the way this works is if you set this up correctly, which we're gonna show you how to do, you should have a backup recovery phrase that gives you access to your tokens, uh, even if you lose your wallet, even if you lose your hardware wallet. So Ledger Nano S cold storage wallet. Let's do it. Let's do this. All right, guys, if this is your ledger and you're just plugging it in for the first time, if it comes up and you're looking at a enter your pin screen, then you need to reset it because someone has already set up your ledger. This is why we say to get it from the factory. So make sure you use the link in the description to get yours from the factory so you don't get one that someone's already tampered with. If you do have one that's already been set up, that's okay. You can just enter the wrong pin three times in a row and it'll reset it to factory settings. If you're super paranoid, even if you got it from the factory, you might decide to set it up and then reset it again. But if you get it and it says configure for the first time, or if it says configure and you bought it from the factory, from my link, you can trust it that you're setting it up for the first time and it's not, you don't need to worry about anything. But if it does have a pin code, if you do plug it in for the very first time and it shows a pin requirement like this, that means someone's already set it up and you should enter any pin. Yeah, even if it tells you, like if you got one that's from a scammer, they'll give you a pin that basically they say, enter this pin, don't do that. They've already set the wallet up. So here's a good way to avoid any uh, malicious attempts at your funds. Make sure you set this up yourself instead of if there's a pin here, just you gotta reset it. So you do that by entering the wrong pin three times. But the problem is, is be careful because after you set this up, if you enter the wrong pin three times, you will reset your wallet. So be careful. So we just got this cable that comes with it, the USB cable, and we're gonna basically, let's see, turn this on the computer. Let's plug it in and charge it up, see what it says. Plug it in and see what it says. Getting started, go to start.ledgerwallet.com and follow the instructions to configure your device. And you just have to download this, uh, download their Ledger Live. So this is again, the software that comes with it. Install the software. So, so it says, uh, what do you wanna do? We're gonna choose get started, initialize a new Ledger device. Pick the device, we have a Ledger Nano S. Continue. Connect the Ledger Nano S to your computer. Press both buttons simultaneously as instructed on the screen. Press the right button to select configure as new device. Choose a pin code between four and eight digits long. So it, as soon as we plugged it in, it came on and uh, it says press both buttons simultaneously to begin. It says that on the screen. So we'll just press both buttons as it says. It says welcome with Ledger Nano S to interact and control user interface. Use left and right buttons to change values. Let's press the right button to select configure as new device. Choose a pin. As you're doing this, I would recommend you write all this down. I would, write, I would write everything you're doing down. Just to be safe, write everything down so you don't mess it up or you don't lose it. Somehow. And then it's gonna ask you to confirm your pin, thankfully, so you don't have some whack pin. So just put the pin in, you just put in. It should be the same as the one you just entered, hopefully, and there shouldn't be any issues with that. Just put it in. And then it says, write down your recovery phrase. So we'll say, okay. All right, there we go. Whoa, 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 bam. So it takes a minute to get all that out there. Definitely wanna just write it down and uh, keep that safe somewhere so that no one can access that. That's important. 
and uh, you should have your pin and your recovery phrase and back to the checklist. Did you choose your pin by yourself? Yes. Did you save your recovery fast phrase yourself? Yes. Is your ledger device genuine? Let's check. It says check now, connect and unlock your ledger device. It's checking, genuine check. All right, it says navigate to the dashboard on your device and press both buttons to continue. So press both buttons. And now we're in our settings. So we're in the settings here and uh, let's go scroll through here. It says, yes. All right, let's go to continue. And it says set a password to prevent unauthorized access to the ledger live. Um, data stored on your computer, including account names, balances, transactions, so we're gonna set a new password really quick for this bad boy. Write that down as well. Now we need to actually install assets on our device. I would definitely send a test send. So we're gonna send a test send to see if we can get um, any, of our, any of our funds on there. So in order to do that, hey guys, so I had an issue with the video I recorded. I deleted that part uh, accidentally. And also I had an issue when I was connecting the first time when I connected it, and I thought I pressed yes, I didn't. So make sure when you connect your ledger and it asks you, do you wanna let this device be managed by Ledger Live, make sure you hit yes or else you can't install the app. Just re, just unplug it and plug it back in and it should say when you go to manage right here inside of your Ledger Live, it should say manage, allow your ledger to manage, you say yes. And then you can go after you allow it to manage, you can go and select whatever app you want to install. So you can select any app you want, you select the XRP app, and then it allows you to install the XRP app. So there's a bunch of apps on here. It's super easy, you just go click install. After you click that, after you click install, an installation window should appear, it should say processing, and then it should show the XRP app on your ledger. And then you would just go to your portfolio, and then you can just go add an account, and you can go add your account, um, select your asset, so you'd select XRP, and you can go continue, you select your device, um, it, it says click the app in the device, so you double click the buttons to open the XRP app on your device right there, and then you can say, you know, you choose your account and you confirm. So, and then whenever you do a send, you guys know how to do a basic send, hopefully, uh, or if not, then, you know, once you are in your account and you want to send more, it's super simple. You have a send and receive at the top. So you just say receive and it opens up, you know, you're, you're checking to make sure it says check the ledger, connect to the app. So you double click. Yes, I want to open the XRP app. Use wallet to view accounts. Um, you say, okay, continue. And then verify, you say yes. There it goes, showing you your address, so you can just send to that address. You, you just go to wherever you're sending from, go to wherever you're sending from, copy this address. There's no destination tag. It's This is just your address on the ledger. Now, I would do a test send first. I would just send the 25 XRP uh, as a test and make sure it gets there. Wait maybe a minute or two, it should show up in your ledger, and then you can send whatever else you have, the other hundred or two you have. <gasps> Uh, before it before it lets you do anything, it asks you to confirm the address. So you can press check, confirm the address, and uh, then it'll let you close that window. Pretty simple. If you're ready to unplug it, you want to uh, take it off the computer. You don't have to do anything special. You, you don't have to do anything special at all. You can just literally unplug it and uh, you're done. That's it. Super simple. Recommend you guys keep this somewhere safe, but as long as you have your recovery phrase, then you should be fine. If you ever lose this, you can actually recover your funds with just that phrase. It's a hassle though, so don't do that. Um, it'd be better if you just kept your hands on this device and kept it safe somewhere. And uh, that's all we're gonna do. Don't forget to use the link to grab a ledger if you haven't already. Thanks a bunch guys for watching this video. Hope it worked out for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and just uh, shoot me a, a tweet or something at, at, uh, at the Kung Fu Nerd. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram for some body movement inspiration. And that's all, cheers. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Hope your funds are safe. Adios, until I see you next time. Brought to you, brought to you.